Sports Extra, 20 minutes of local team highlights. Brought to you exclusively by Hiller's Flooring America. This was the scene yesterday at Mayo High School's. The field was getting ready for tonight's state quarterfinals. Good evening, sports fans. Welcome to Sports Extra. I'm going to hire Mayo AD Jeff Whitney to plow my driveway from now on. He's a heck of a job. Yeah, he does. Actually, I'm going to call Century AD Mark Queasley. I heard he's also pretty handy there. On At least the you're not calling here. Strickland. Right? Yeah, not Strickland. Yeah, never Strickland. <laughs> I'm Mark Powell's alongside Sports Director Pat Lund. Three area teams played tonight with four more tomorrow, plus the state semifinals in volleyball took place today. We've got it all, but we begin tonight here on the Gridiron. Class AA quarterfinals from Mayo High School. Former Albert Lee AD head coach Clay Anderson coaching Pipestone area. The Arrows showed a little something on their first drive mark. They chewed up a lot of clock. This is Eric Lang picking up a big chunk of yardage, and he keeps the drive alive. Pipestone facing fourth and 12, deep in Caledonia territory. Quarterback JT Tinklenberg throws it up. Look at Dawson Shellhaus work his way under the football to make the TD grab. 6 nothing Arrows, they're pretty pumped up. That didn't last for long. Caledonia's ensuing possession. Quarterback Noah King. He gets hit after releasing the ball. On the other end is Cole Crombush, who goes up and gets the football. The Warriors with the 7-6 lead. Next Caledonia possession. King gets the ball to Donnie Lakey. And a little stiff arm. He's off to the races. Sees a whole lot of green, a whole lot of glory. And the Warriors' offense is revved up. 51-yard scoring play, 14-6. Next Caledonia possession, King gets out of the pocket, spots Eli King, and how pretty is this? After the catch, you don't teach this. This is natural ability, and it's awfully good. Eli goes in for six. You kind of get the theme of how this was going after Pipestone took the 6-0 lead. Early in the second quarter, Noah King says, I've passed for three touchdowns. How about I run for one? King sees a lane to the end zone. It's smooth sailing, and the Warriors have opened it up 28-6. to and They weren't done. King throws his fourth touchdown pass of the first half, hooking up with Chromebush once again. Five touchdowns for Noah King, four through the air, one on the ground with 6.50 left in the first half, 35-6 Caledonia, 66 straight wins. Noah King ended up passing for 324 yards and six touchdowns. Chromebush, five catches, 120 yards, and three touchdowns. The Warriors play either Barnesville or Osakis. These two teams play tomorrow way up in Moorhead. I wonder if Coach is going to drive yeah. up there tomorrow. <laughs> Barnesville is ranked second. The two played in the Prep Bowl a year ago with, of course, the Warriors winning the semifinals at 11.30 in the morning next Friday at U.S. Bank Stadium. Mark. Now to nine man, we head out to Westcott Field, unseated Grand Meadow taking on top seeded Mountain Lake area for a spot in the semifinals at U.S. Bank Stadium. First quarter, no score. The Wolverines strike first. Watch Abraham stays here for Mountain Lake area, getting to the outside, and then turning on the Jets. Larks down a touchdown early. Later. Grand Meadow now down 14-0. QB Evan Olke looks deep, but his pass is tipped. And intercepted by Stays. He has a nice return up the sideline there for the Wolverines. After the quarter change, though, Mountain Lake area cashes in on the turnover and they run the RPO to perfection. Again, it stays, and again, it is a house call. You talk about a ball player. Super Larks down 21 0 early. Still in the first half, Grand Meadow trying to get back in the game. Stays has it on the carry, but he puts the ball on the turf. Super Larks there. And in business, ensuing possession, fourth and goal. Olke looks in zone, but his pass Ooh. is broken up by none other than Mr. Stays. Special players make special plays, and that's what Stays kept doing. Check out this throw to Ethan Nickel. Yeah, that put the Superlarks down 35 to 0. So, for the first time in six years, Section 1 will not win the nine man state championship. Wow. The Superlarks season is over. They fall to top seeded Mountain Lake area 42 to 12. But all in all, Gary Sloan riding the ship for the Larks this season, reasserting their control over nine man football here in Section 1. Yeah, the Super Larks won four in a row, and then Spring Grove won two in a row, so they've had a handle on things yeah, up there. Would, yeah, six in a row, that's a handle. Man. <laughs> uh, and Caledonia, they were down 6 nothing. Forget about it. It was. Oh, yeah, I couldn't believe they were. It was they a trailed. quick wake-up yeah, yeah, call. Yeah, Noah King, boy, that guy plays with some it was, attitude. They yeah. were, they, it was like 6.54 left on the clock, and Pipestone was up 6 nothing, and 
like that, that it was 28-6. Yep. Man. Hey, the Winona time. State Warriors play a huge football game tomorrow afternoon. Plus, the Stuartville volleyball team played in the state semis in St. Paul. Holden Cruzmark joins us next. The road tour made a stop in Hastings for the Class 4A quarterfinals, where a pair of top 10 teams hooked up as the Winona Windhawks battled Simley Holden. Has all the action when we come back.